Hello again and welcome to another SOLIDWORKS electrical quick look. Today we are looking at the second part of the topic adding custom library components to the SOLIDWORKS electrical library. My name is Alex Cock. I am the Territory Technical Manager of the ANZ. Now just a quick recap of the process that is involved. First, in order to create a custom library component, we need a basic 3D part. We need to define the manufacturer part information and the electrical data. Following that, we need to add some additional intelligence, effectively define 3D component information to tell the system how wires are going to be explicitly connected to the component when they are inserted in the 3D assembly. And following that, we're going to wrap up in part three of the series, a simple test to validate the components that we have set up to see whether what we've done so far actually works. Now we covered the basic component definition in part one. So in part two, like I said, we will be looking at what needs to be defined on a 3D component level. So let's switch over to SOLIDWORKS. So picking up from where we left off in part one, we had already created the manufacturer's part information and added the intelligence for the electrical aspect of my new library component. Right now, what we're going to have to do is we will have to add the mechanical intelligent information to this component here. Essentially, this would inform the system how the wires are going to be connected to this component when it is finally used. Now, to start off here, I'm going to just create a sketch with three points. This will represent the three locations where the wires will eventually be connected. So that's one, that's two, and that's the third one. All right, let me just do this very slowly to make sure that we all follow this and we exit this. So from here, what we go on now to do is that from the three points that we have defined, we'd like to just make use of a nice little tool in SOLIDWORKS Electrical. If you go to Tools, SOLIDWORKS Electrical, we make use of this function called the Electrical Component Wizard. Now, there are several things you can define. For example, the default orientation of components that are to be added to standard DIN rails. This is where you go on to use this. I will cover this in a different presentation for today. I'm going to concentrate on creating the connection point by reference. Now, I have already created the reference. There's those three sketch points here. Now, in part one, if you recall, we have already created the three terminal information. So for the first terminal, I'm going to select this point here. Right. And then for the second one, I am going to go on to select B. That's the second one. Just let the system think of it. And from that, we move on to the third, which is over here. And what we've defined here is the three physical locations of where the wires will be connected to. That's all we need to do. And from here, we just go on to exit our information. And we finished the second part of the process to add our component to our electrical library. All right, good to rebuild and save this part here. And that's it. So quick recap of what we have done so far in order to define the information to make it usable to SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D. First, we fired up the component wizard to define, and this is an environment that allows us to define orientations for standard components that will be attached to DIN rails within cabinets, as well as connection points, which was what we were interested in today. We were looking at how connection points could be defined. All right, um, circuit information that have been defined in the first part of the series would have come in handy today. And of course, creating sketch points, as you would have seen, are very useful as well. So in part three, I will be covering a simple test. And this is something that very often users I meet forget to do. They are so confident with what they have done with their components that they fail to test it until they find problems when they implement the components. So I'll just go into a simple test in part three to wrap this whole topic up. 
Meanwhile, thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feedback or comments, please drop me a note at either of these sources here. Again, my name is Alex Cox. I'm the Territory Technical Manager for the ANZ. And have a nice day. Bye-bye.